Hi everyone, this is Blanca, and you know, as if I didn't have enough orchids, <laughs> I went to an orchid sale, Palmer's Open House, they had an open house Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I didn't do a recording there, there was a lot of people there, and um, but you know, people were moving around, not standing still, well, some were not, but everyone, for, for the most part, I think everyone had a mask on, and um, Oh, look what's in bloom today. I'm over here on the side of my pergola next to my fence, and my pergola is right over here. And uh, I keep, when I'm sitting in my pergola, I'm getting this really ugly fragrance. And I'm thinking, what is that smell? Oh my God, it's nasty. It kind of smells like, um, like, like when you slam the brakes immediately and you burn some rubber. <laughs> no, no, not that I've done that, but I'm thinking that's what it smells like. But isn't this plant beautiful? I moved it over here. It's my, uh, I think it's called Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. And she has three different colors, purple, lavender, and white blooms on her. So... And my Shambrokia, look, poor thing, it's sitting there. <laughs> I, she's gotten so big, I have nowhere to put her, and she gets a lot of sun there. So I have to constantly water her so she can stay a little on the coo side. So let me share what, what I picked up at Palmer's. So this is the Catlia I have purchased. And I don't know how long she's been in bloom, so... Um, I can see a little bit of staining already in here, darkness. So she might have been in bloom for a little while already. But you know what I liked about her? Everything. <laughs> yes, I like her color. I like her shape. And no, but seriously, you know what? I, I looked at her and I thought, oh, wow, she's got a nice new growth. Do you see right in there? And... She's growing from that side of the pot. And then I noticed this is a good thing to look at when you're buying a cat, yeah, an orchid or anything, any other orchid. Check out her roots and look, there's another new growth on that side too. She's, uh, do you see that little eye there? So she basically will be blooming from both sides of the pot. She's a nice healthy one. Oh, her tag. And her uh, label, I'm trying to get it out and I'm having a difficult time. I think there's some roots in there. There. Let's see if I can get it out. She's a primary hybrid. And uh, I am pulling hair. And uh, you know what? I don't want to damage any roots. So I'm going to see if I could zoom in on her label. Her name is Katya E N I D Inid, and she is a Varbitsii Alba by Katya Mosei. And it says they're white with yellow throat. I don't see white except for a little bit of white inside the throat. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, and let's see. I forgot. Does she smell? Oh, yes. Yeah, smells really pretty, too. Sweet, sweet. Very pretty. Look, I've got this beautiful Dendrobium nobly in bloom. I don't know if she's going to come out because I'm, like, seeing a pretty dark screen here. And what I was going to show you is my Fias Tankerbilly. That is the nun's orchid. It's back in there. And she's got like seven, I believe seven or eight bloom spikes on her. And I need to get her out of there because above her is a vanda and she is crashing into it. And you can see she is starting to open some of her buds there. And look, there are buds going back up there. 
she's a tall one so I really need to get her out of behind there she's kind of behind this little bench back there so these are some of the blooming ones I picked up at Palmer's and I, I not too much of Dendrobium nobili, but he had hundreds, Palmer's had hundreds and hundreds and all different colors, shapes and size and I mean you couldn't help them and you could smell them from far away. They were smelling so great. And I was out there running around with my friend Vince and he helped me decide which ones to get. And he also got the same one I did, this white one here. And Vince, if you're watching, I didn't notice but I didn't get a tag on mine. There's no label on it. So if you could identify her for me, I'll make up a tag. She's really, really pretty and he picked her out. See how white, crispy white and then almost black, purple color in there? Really deep color. Very, very beautiful. And the, the one right next to it, I picked this one out because I thought, oh my god, those blooms are the size of Calias. Look at these things. They're huge. My other Dendrobin Nobilis are small. The blooms are not this size. So, and I, I don't know how long she's been in bloom, but she's very pretty. And this one does have a tag. I had a great time at Palmer's. I always love going there. It's one of my favorite orchid shopping places. Dendrobium Brilliant Smile Royal. Mm-hmm. She smells pretty royal. <laughs> royal perfume, that's what she has. Maybe like a raspberry smell. Yeah, that's it, like a raspberry. And um, let me share the little orchid that uh, Vince, let me move this out of the way. Okay, I think I can get in there now. But um, in my little uh, looking like a church there, <laughs> sacred, <laughs> um, I don't even know what this thing is. It's like one of those um, candle holders. I have my little dendrobium in here that my friend Vince gifted me at the Tampa Orchid Show. And look at she has bloomed that little bud very pretty she's doing really good nice roots now bigger roots and that growth back there is growing thank you Vince had a great time at Palmer's and let me get on to the next ones look at that a month later and still in bloom One of my favorites. All right, let's get on with, it, with what I was going to show you. This is like a forever blooming orchid. Look at this. There's another bloom. She's been in bloom for such a long time. And, uh, that's her tag. Number nine. <laughs> nine lives, possibly. No. <laughs> Blooming nine times, maybe, in a year. <laughs> All right, let me show you what I picked up. All right, this is one, another one I picked up at Palmer's. And uh, they had this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous orchid, Cordigia. And it was not for sale, and it was spiking all over the place, a lot of blooms, and um, it smelled so good. Probably one of the best smelling orchids I have smelled. And, um, of course, it was behind the yellow ribbon, and uh, do not cross, and not for sale. So anyways, um, I asked one of the employees if they had one, or maybe they can give me a cutting, sell me a cutting from it. And he says, you know what, I think we have one. So he went in search and he found it. 
It didn't have a tag on it, so he put a tag on it, and I'm hoping it's the same orchid <laughs> that I that I saw in bloom. Here is her tag, and I am not going to say it because uh, let me focus. Because you know, I tried looking this up, and I really couldn't find too much information on it. And he made the tag up while we were there, but I noticed one of the buds are starting to open here. And uh, I'll insert a photo of what I think her blooms look like from what I remember because I didn't take a picture when I was there. And I am looking forward to that because of the fragrance was so, so delicious. Yeah, when I was at the orchid show, I met up with my girlfriend, Gilda, and she came all the way from Port St. Lucie on the opposite coast. Um, of Florida and she came from the East Coast we had such a wonderful time it was so nice seeing you Gilda but Gilda showed me this orchid and she said oh you got to get it I have this this is really beautiful it's a rich wine color and and she described it I was thinking mmm I could go for a glass of Merlot <laughs> she said it was a dark wine color and so anyways um, I said, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and get it. And I walked around. I didn't see it, so I kind of forgot about it. And then I ran into her again, and she says, did you get it? And I said, no, I couldn't find it. So she told me exactly where to go get it. And I went, and I found, I think there were like, Vince helped me locate her. And I think there were only two left at this price because the other ones were twice, almost twice as much. But this one's nice. Look at that growth on there. Oh, and um, I'll insert a photo because um, there are photos of this one. And when we were out there, Gilda said, come here, I want to show you. They have one in bloom outside in full sun. And God, when I saw it, it was a nice, big, tall orchid. Oh, it was so beautiful. I, got, I said, I got to have it. And there is her tag. Thank you, Gilda. And like I said, I will insert a photo of her blooms. And the last one, again, it wasn't in bloom, and I think it had already bloomed, and it was my most costly one, and I could kick myself because I saw Todd got one at the Tampa show, and they had a few left. Uh, Suncoast had a few left, and I didn't get one, and they had them in bloom, so I ended up getting one at Palmer's. I'm happy with it, but of course it's not in bloom, and I'll share that one with you. So this is the last orchid I picked up at Palmer's. It was my it was my most expensive one too, but it was one I was dying for. I used to have this orchid and I lost it uh, last summer due to scale. I cleaned it, I repotted, I did everything, sprayed it with orthing, but the pseudobulbs just kept getting thinner and thinner and um, I couldn't save it. But uh, this is one that Todd picked up. At the Tampa show, he picked up a really nice blooming one. And it's a uh, Catlia Amethoglossum Triple X. <laughs> Must be a real sexy one, huh? <laughs> but uh, here she is. She's not in bloom. She had already bloom. But, you know, I got it off my uh, long, long want list. But you know what? I added two more. <laughs> it's never ending list. But I'm happy to get this one. And hopefully uh, I'll keep a real good eye on this one too. And I used to have her in the... Um, pergola real close to under well real close to where the um co coconut tree is and the coconut trees when we knock the coconuts off they do have scale on them and i think that's where the scale came from but she's got some real nice roots you see some green tip roots in there 
so she is looking healthy. Oh, hey, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I got hubby to this morning to actually move my Fias Tankervilli, my nun's orchid, from where she was because she was growing under a vanda and you can see that her bloom spikes were twisted and bent under the vanda. But you know what? Look how, look how big she is. She's almost as tall as I am. Oh my god. Wow. Anyways, uh, she um, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bloom spikes. And I thought there were eight. And actually there are ten because those seven that you can see here, there's three more under there. Oh yeah, I have forgotten I had put her into a bigger pot and she's potted in uh, in potting soil with a little bit mixture of um, media in there and bark, lava rock and whatever, leca beads, charcoal, but mostly soil. All right, that's it. I'll, I'll show a picture of her when she has bloomed. Bye everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back again because it looks like orange is the new thing. The new thing around here anyways. There's some orange blooms here on my um, thorn of crowns. And I have another one over here. I tried to go a little on the slow side. There, those are orange too. And more orange blooms. And on my fence, more orange blooms. That's the Epidendrium reed orchid. Kind of goes crazy around here. And I'll, I'll show you why it goes crazy because I had them in a pot and we decided to move the pot and we cut, cut a bunch of them down. And uh, <laughs> Everywhere, everywhere I look, I see one stuck in here somewhere on the foxtail tree, and it's blooming. <laughs> and where is roots go? I don't know. Let's see. They're just somewhere in there laying in here. Do you see them right in there? And uh, there's another one over here. <laughs> right up there that's not in a pot either that is hanging on somewhere in there on the fence oh look my um oh what is that orchid call it's uh renanthera it's got a bloom spike right there and I looked up on the top up there, way up there, and there's another one up there. Not orange, but pretty purple, Bougainvillea. And um, on that arbor back there, I had orchids up there and they were getting sunburned because this time of year the sun rises on this behind me and it burns everything there. So hubby bought a piece of lattice, cut it down, and he mounted it to my arbor. He kind of just stapled it in place so I'm afraid to hang anything on it because it could come loose. More orange in bloom. One of my favorite cattleyas. I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus there. There she is. Michael McCarthy I think has the same orchid. And this is my tag. I've had her for many many years. And this is the tag that came with her. And she's been repotted many times. And 
Let's see if I can get that tag back in there somewhere so I don't lose it. And more orange. These three are finally blooming and facing me. <laughs> Besides the other ones, like down in there, there's some other ones blooming. Part of her, she blooms all over the place, and there's some more back there. But these are pretty. And besides the orange ones back there. And the two buds haven't bloomed yet above her. And the last final orange one that I have in bloom. Let me bring her down. So this is my other orange one that is in bloom. She is mounted so beautiful on that Natalia's plate. I love that plate. Let's see if I can get in on her blooms. There. And her tag, I'll zoom in on it. Let's see if we can... Where is it at? It's up here somewhere. Well, and honey, if you're watching the video, it's a two-second hanging. <laughs> She's not going to be there permanently, permanently. Don't worry. It's not going to collapse the lattice. I'm going to remove her now. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye and stay safe.